All right, so that tank, I got 1,036 miles out of it. I just got fuel, we're using mud flap, unfortunately, Pennsylvania, but I wasn't smart enough to get fuel in New Jersey yesterday, but I think we're gonna do a series on here. We're gonna call it Hot Shot Trucking, but I'm home every day. So I'm gonna be dropping off hopefully around nine o'clock. He wants me there at 10, but I'm gonna get there at nine. So we're gonna drop up there. I got one to pick up and then I'm coming home. I'm working on booking one for tomorrow that has three drops in New Jersey, but it's one pick. So it's $1,000 to do that. And in four days, if I get that one, that would put my gross at about $36.75 for four days, which isn't bad. So we'll see. Um, getting used to these paper logs, it's kind of weird, but it is what it is. So when I get uh, start getting some pay in, I have a couple of things that I need to do to the truck. I wanna redo that front main seal. I did order the air filter. That won't be here until next Wednesday. So we'll have an air filter, turbo rebuild kit, front brakes for the trailer, and two middle tires. So those are what I need. Those are the things we're gonna be spending our money on first. But yeah, so let's get out of here. Still have that February payment coming up, so 12 grand. Going out the door in February. Luckily, it's a tax write-off. So, all right, let's get into the video. Keep going. So as I was saying, we are headed to Harrison Valley, Pennsylvania. So can't say I've ever been up there, but hopefully it's a hopefully it's an easy day. I'm trying to get these 18 hour days down. Because like I said in the last video, I'm doing about 14 hours of driving and, and unloading and whatnot. So 11 hours into 14. And then also spending four hours on editing and going through emails, comments, and messages, as well as trying to dispatch and do all that stuff. So I'm trying to get the days, so if we can keep doing shorter days, making the same amount of money, that would be even better. So I'm just trying to get myself into that rhythm. Hopefully today we can be home by like three or four. Told me they got like a foot of snow. I can see that they weren't kidding. Luckily the highway, it's all clear. Uh, we should be there by like 9.15 uh, according to the GPS. And he said the guy was, uh, his kid was gonna meet us there. So looks like we, ugh. Looks like we will be dropping pretty early. I just gotta make up a BOL for this one, make a BOL for the next one, and we'll be picking up. Man, we should be home pretty early today if all goes well. But every time I say that, something doesn't go well. So I don't know. Let's see, is today gonna be drama free or is today gonna cause some drama? Stay tuned. All right, we made it. Wait for them to come up and uh, we'll see what we need to do. There you got it. Up a little bit. There you go. You're good up here. Away she goes. You got room. You got room. You got plenty. Yep. There you go, yep, keep coming. That should be good. There you go. This makes it so easy. Man, we need one of them at the shop. Sorry about the back window, by the way. I need to get that clean off and re -tin it. By the way, if anybody knows any tink guys in my area, let me know. Let's see. You got her. You're good over here. There you go. No, you're good. You can rub the netting, that's fine. You can rub the netting, that's fine. So you're on top of it now, you're good. So you just keep coming this way. There we go. You're all the way through now. You're about a foot through, so you're good. Come on, there we go. 
Makes my life so easy. Sweet. All right, so that easy. He's going up the road to uh, grab the check for me. That was 800 bucks to go like 200 some miles. Not too bad. Now we'll pick up in New York here in about 80 minutes. Head up that way. Dude, these guys unloading these things with forklifts has been awesome. Nobody wants to do these in-ops, but they're so easy to do. So I'll take it. Um, I'm gonna get this BOL written out. We're trying to book another load from, New Jer uh, from PA to New Jersey for Friday, and we'll see how it goes. Not too bad up here. It's pretty sight up. Uh, I think Harrison Valley is where I'm at. So he said they got like 17 inches. It wasn't just a foot. They got 17 inches of snow. Like, well, on the bright side, we're prepared for it. Some of these driveways up here. Up here, I could see you need four-wheel drive to like get out of your driveway. That lot that he had was just insanely covered in snow, but it kind of clears up now. My goodness, it snowed a little bit. Look at this. These back roads are pretty dang terrible. This is a road that uh, anyone over 20,000 pounds is not allowed back here, so I'm allowed back here because I only weigh 15. So, road's not the best, but we're doing all right. Moving pretty good too. So we'll be picking up in about 52 minutes. Well, here we are, New York, and we got 24 minutes to go. I hate this state already. <laughs> you walk into a store in, in New York and like everybody's looking at you because everybody's wearing masks. All right, so we made it. I am, I guess we'll pick up here. I guess they're up there. So I am gonna hop my way up there and see if we can't find this thing. All right, there she is. It says F-250 on it, but it's a dually dump truck. So, let's see. He's gonna get a battery for it. Apparently it runs and drives. So, let's get this thing cleaned off and get the information off of it. Oh man. And then we're going home. It's about four hours home, so we should be home by about four o'clock today. That thing is full of snow. Oof. Well... Oh well, yeah, like I said, dude, they got they got plenty of snow here. Plenty. Almost. Watch, oh, 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 oh. All right, here she is, I drove it. This thing is kind of scary with the brakes. Definitely needs some brake work. But, get this hood closed, if I can figure that out. And we'll get it thrown up on. It does run and drive, unfortunately. We have a ton of snow in the back, so. That's gonna suck, but it's, it's gonna give us a ton of weight, unfortunately. Well, that was pretty awful. The brakes are questionable at best, but we are on. We got it. So, the tires touch only a little bit, but it's on. So e-brake doesn't work, but it is uh, in first. So we'll get her strapped down. Look at all this salt. Look, it looks like one color now. 
besides the top. We'll have, we'll have to get some more salt on this thing. But, there you go. Poor truck. He's got brand new rubber on it too. Needs a little bit of tire pressure. Because you guys can see this side touches. I don't know about the other side. Not that it matters. Let's see. That side does not touch. It's damn close, but it doesn't touch. Brand new wheels and tires on it. Cool. All right, well, there she is. Uh, I threw two straps on this one because I could. On the other side, I couldn't do that because it's too far over, but I didn't get it. So that's all right. Now we're done. Now we're going to get out of here. I got to do something quick on the computer. And then we'll be heading home. We're about four hours. We'll be home. All right, so I don't know how to um, really add this up. Uh, so I was on the phone. I just booked two loads, two separate brokers. So when we drop this F-350 tomorrow, we got one picking up in Maryland. Then we're dropping in Forest City. And then we're shooting a little bit west, picking up a uh, step van coming home. And then we're dropping in New Jersey Monday. Now, the thing is, if I were to drop that load this week, which is doable, in four days, or actually it would have been five days. So five days, because if I would have dropped Saturday, it would have been 39.75 gross for the week. But if I were to drop Monday, that would go on next week. So take 800 off of it. So that means in four days, I would have grossed 30, uh, 31.75 would have been the gross number. That's four days. Granted, if I would have worked Monday, see, I only worked four days this week. So I worked Tuesday and to Friday. So that's that's the numbers for the week. So that's actually pretty on par with what I was doing OTR, if not better and less stressful because I'm home every day. And also the expenses are a lot less because I can get fuel inside of other places or if I really want to bypass the filters for a little while, I can run waste oil. Um, I get to pack my lunch every day and I don't gotta take truck stop showers or park places and just stuff like that. So I save a lot of money being local. There's a lot more potential if I wanted to work a lot harder, but right now I'm just doing it where I'm doing one load at a time. I pick one, I drop one. I pick one, I drop one. And that's just how I've been doing it. What I'll do is I'll wake up in the morning, I'll drop one, pick the next one, go home. Drop in the morning, pick one, go home. So that's how I'm doing it. Yeah, so that's basically what, what's going on here. So you guys can see we are on our way, should be home in about three hours, 20 minutes. I'd like to stop and plug that tire back there because I'm tired of it leaking and I am gonna be getting new tires either probably next week. Just waiting on the account to refill and get, get a couple paychecks in. The YouTube check's coming in. That's 2,800 bucks. That's coming in uh, on the 22nd and it's the 19th now. So three more days for that. I might just get tires with that money to tell you the truth. Tires and brakes are definitely a necessity. Also, the truck needs brakes now too, so I gotta do front brakes on the truck. So that'll be fun. So, trailer brakes, truck brakes, tires. Let's get it. Well, this thing is a damn salt bath. Salt for days, including the trailer. This is gonna suck to clean. Oh yeah, so, decided to finally stop because I'm getting Get sick of driving for a little while. Let me uh, let me stretch my legs for a couple minutes. So I found this pull off here. This tire keeps going flat. So I'd like to pull it off and put a plug in it. And I am telling you that plugs work very very well. And I can tell you that because that tire has three plugs in it, and none of them leak. It always decides to leak somewhere else. So. Sometime this week, I think I need to get a, get the brakes for this. The front left, I think, is scraping pretty hard. So, I'll do that. Need to get me a rotor. I found another thing. I'd like to put a stopper on this VGT controller. So that, like, because when it opens all the way, I remember seeing it before, how the EGTs would climb. And it only builds like 25 pounds of boost, whereas before it was building a lot more. So if I put a stopper on it that I can adjust, that'll let me adjust my max boost. 
I think ideally I want to get 35 pounds out of that turbo and then we shouldn't have any VGT problems at all. But I'm going to get this tire jacked up. I'm going to pull this off, plug it, and then throw it back on. So check out this custom exhaust. All flexible exhaust. Kind of neat. Um, yeah, it's it's warmed up a lot. Ideally, if I was going to do a car wash, it, today would be the day to do it. But the GPS has been kind of screwing me on time a little bit because I've been like I was going to be home at four, and then oh, you can't take this road, so here's another thirty minutes, and then you can't take this road, so here's another thirty minutes. So now we're at like five twenty-two. So whatever um we'll get there so oh man this thing covered in salt so let's get the tire off and uh we'll go from there all right we got the tools out jack is underneath wheel spins and those bearings sound great wonder what's going on in there. Let's find out. All right, it's not the bearing. I think it's something to do with inside the brakes, so that's fine. Um, other than that, it is probably getting time to redo these bearings. Uh, I think I've put about 12,000 miles on this trailer since. So I'll probably end up doing them at some point when I get the time. If we get a nice warm weekend, I'll probably go over the bearings again. Um, this is the axle that needs the brakes. And then whatever these tires are, the uh, Discover H HT3s. These are a really good tire and I've come to the general consensus that with brand new tires, you don't have an issue with triaxles. It's only the, you like this tire here, it's getting pretty bald. Obviously, like I said, I'm gonna replace it next week, but it's really only this tire I've been having problems with. I never had tire problems with this trailer except the old tires. New tires, anything that's hit these tires has gone straight to this tire for some reason. Even over on there, like there, let me see. This tire obviously I'll throw out and won't use as a spare. I don't think I'll use any of them as a spare, but this one here has even been pretty decent. I think I might have only plugged this one once, but this one's getting pretty worn down there too. So probably end up uh, take this one off and then do a rotation and replace them. But here's the other one. I would like to probably just replace these two because you can see how like really bad this one is, but this one actually held. I think it did. I mean, there's air in it. I think there's air in it. It's hard to tell with you. Eh, that sounds kind of flat. So probably no air in it, but I want to definitely at least replace that one. And I'll probably just replace whichever one of these, if I can keep this one from leaking, I'll use that one as a spare and that one as a spare until obviously I'm going to get two more spares eventually. But for now, just got to be careful with finances. I'm very, being very, very picky on the budgeting. Even if I can afford to throw the money out, I know I should throw the money out now, but I'm going to wait till next Friday to then do that. As long as I do need to still make that huge payment. So that's what I'm worried about. I'm just, I had the money and then the trucking accident happened and then the transmission failure happened and it's like, well, whatever. So now we're pretty close, but. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this pumped up. We'll throw a plug in it. I know where the hole's at. It's somewhere on this side in the tread. So I'm gonna get the hole. We'll get her all uh, greened out. These actually work really good. So don't be knocking it. They work really good. Uh, this tire, like I said, has so many plugs in it. So haven't had an issue with any of the plugs yet. All right, letting the Milwaukee compressor warm its way up the guys again that have been asking about the milwaukee compressor it's really good but if you got to fill a tire from like dead nothing it takes like three or four times of it fully pumping up and these are 80 pound tires so other than that it's really good you guys can hear just how quiet it is 
Just had a trooper drive down the road. He didn't stop or say anything. These paper logs are weird. I've been running the Keep Trucking app before with the old company and we didn't have Keep Trucking set up. So I've, I'm just using paper logs right now. And it's really weird figuring that out. But I think I got it. There are little quirks and stuff, especially the paper BOLs. I'm figuring that out too, but we are booked for the rest of the week, thankfully. All right, let's roll our junk tire over. I'm gonna call them probably when I can get service. I'll probably call them tomorrow. We might just get tires this week. I don't. I don't even know. I'm tired of dealing with these baldies. Also gonna mess with the brakes at some point. So might just do all this this weekend. Put the white truck on the back burner to get this set up legal. Cause I don't really want to get any bad inspections either. Cause I've been on a streak of level one inspections being had. Stored this one upside down. Apparently this thing fell out and this thing, this cover fell off. So this jack doesn't work. I guess it needs more fluid. And then this one here works great. So sucks, but whatever. Grab these two. Come back to the truck, throw everything in. We are good to get home. We should be able to park the trailer around 6.15. It's weird also doing the log book in 15 minute increments. Cause that's how paper logs work. It's really weird. I don't know if I like it. All right, so for some reason, my instinct, every time I'm doing a file transfer from my phone to my Mac for the videos, I'll transfer something over, I'll delete them, and then I'll drag something else over to the trash instead of actually sending it to the GoPro folder. So that's my bad. This is the second time I've deleted a clip by mistake, just instincts, just bam, click, gone, and, and then it's disappeared forever. So that's kind of BS. Um, I'm going to try to get myself out of that habit, but I deleted the clip. So this is pretty much going to do it. We're going to drop that truck tomorrow, and then we're going to go pick up two more at Mannheim, and tomorrow should be a short day. Every time I say it's going to be a short day, it, it turns out not being, but it's Maryland, so it's only two hours away. So I'm going to leave tomorrow around like five. We should be there by seven, which isn't a big deal, and then... That's pretty much that. So we'll pick that up, then we'll head home, then we have more loads and whatnot. So we're we're doing pretty good this week. Um, overall gross is like thirty nine seventy five, something like that, and that was only for four days. So we dropped on Tuesday, picked up, dropped on Wednesday, picked up, drop on Thursday, pick up tomorrow, and then drop on Friday, or pick up, yeah, drop Friday, pick up, and then next week. So it'll go on next week. So this week. Um, if we drop on Monday, that means we made 3200 like 3175 So that's not insanely bad for local driver for only dropping off three days worth of loads. Monday, no, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I would have dropped off four loads, and that was what I got. So not too bad. Um, but other than that, guys, links in the description. Um, if you guys want to sign up for Mudflap, that's down there. That's your fuel cards. Um, if you got, there's a few other things down there, celsius.network down in the description. If you go in there and you use my code, you'll get $50 free Bitcoin after your first $400 deposit. It has to maintain a $400 minimal for a month. You get $50. Also, if you use code HODL50, you also get another $50 for using that code as well after your first $400 deposit. So $100 free Bitcoin, not too bad. And um, they pay you weekly yield on your crypto so um, not as much as I said it was before I, I got that wrong I thought it was um, you get paid that six percent on Bitcoin you actually get paid uh, 50 seconds of that so 
whatever. Um, it's still more than a savings account is going to save you. I have since gotten rid of my savings account because keeping money in a savings account, in my opinion, knowing what I know now is just stupid. They don't pay you enough to do it. I'm actually getting paid to keep my money in there. So that's what I'm going to do. Two checking accounts from now on. So if you guys like that idea, feel free to use it down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Safe travels. Bye.